Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to be making or building a church for a statue that I got of Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus uh, from Amazon. Uh, but first I need to put glue Joseph's head back on because somehow I tipped him over and his poor little head broke right off. So I just put a touch of glue on there and put it back on. Hopefully it'll stay. So I have some scrap wood that I built um, some just out of freehand. I made um, some pieces for a church. Somebody came up with this creation. It was not me, but I am going to make it my own design. So I wanted to show you what I did. So this middle piece, I'm gluing it down with some wood glue and the dimensions on that are 23 inches tall and five and a half inches wide. And then I'm gonna flip it over as you can see and I'm going to screw it down to the other piece from the back so that you can't see the screw holes. Now, the middle piece I did a while ago, um, this wasn't something that I had just recently done. I made it, I stained it, and then I decided I wanted to add the back to it and uh, I made the little door and a stand for it to stand up on. So the back piece is 14 inches high and nine and a half inches wide. So that will stick out beyond the middle piece. And this is the little door and I don't have the dimensions on that, but I will put that down in the description. I just took something rounded and made the rounded top and then made some straight sides from that. Um, and then this bottom piece I um, made so that the church would stand up straight and I wanted it wide so that my little statues would sit on the side of the doorway. And that is four inches deep and ten and a half inches wide. And so this was made all out of scrap wood, um, scrap pine that I have, and it's all one inch pine. So these are all one inch deep. So now I'm taking some watered down Waverly Antique Wax. Uh, this is a jar that I didn't have very much in, so I just added some water. And it is a different colored stain than what the middle piece is, but I don't mind that. I want varying colors in here. And by the time I'm done, you don't know, or you can't tell that it's different, really. So um, I stained it all over and as you'll see I did not stain the bottom or the back. Now this is for me. Uh, if I was going to make these to sell I would definitely stain the back and the bottom and make sure everything was sanded nice and uh, smoothly if I were going to do that. So now I'm taking some white um, Waverly chalk paint and I'm just giving a light uh, dry brush across the top of the top and the bottom uh, plate of my church. I am going to do several layers on this and then I am also going to sand and once I do that it's all going to kind of blend in together and make it look kind of like an old church that's been painted several times, um, been through the weather, and that kind of thing. So I do it all over sides and top and everywhere. The only thing that I don't do with the wash is the front door. Um, I don't know, I just felt like I wanted to leave that different. Um, I did do a little bit of this ink chalk paint on there, uh, which is what I'm doing right now that um, I did around the edges really heavily, almost like a distress. And then um, I did light brushes down the middle of it as well. So that did, the door did get a little bit of the black paint on that, um, just to make it look a little distressed. I didn't want it to make it look like a nice new door on there. And so I did that all over. Now I didn't let any of these layers dry. All these, um, all this paint that I'm putting on, it's one right after the other. None of it dries. It all just kind of blends in. So any of the 
uh, white is going to be varying colors of white mixed with the gray and the black. All right, this is the mineral in the Waverly chalk paint. Mineral is a gray brown uh, paint. And so I coming in with that too, again, on top of already wet paint. Although chalk paint does dry fast, um, if you reapply something wet over the top, it usually reactivates the paint. So as you can see, it's not just one color, it's kind of blending all in together which is what I want to make it this a little distressed church. Now I thought of building a manger. That's originally what I was going to do to put Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus in. Uh, but I saw these churches and I said, you know, this, is, this will be something different. And I really love churches. I love the design, the architecture, and of course the meaning of a church. So that is what I am why I'm making the church instead. Now I'm taking a piece of sandpaper, just a scrap piece of sandpaper that I have. Um, I want to say it's uh, 120 grit and it's been used a few times so it's probably even less than that. But I'm just going over and it also is blending in all those colors as I'm sanding as well. So you're getting more variety of colors. Now I didn't want the colorful Mary Joseph and Baby Jesus statue, so I went in with the mineral gray and um, painted it all over. I did two coats of this all over so that um, I could get rid of all that color on there. I wasn't really into it. Alright, so while that's drying, I am taking some hot glue and some of my Spanish moss and going around the bottom of my church with a little of that. I want to make this a rustic, primitive type church and I thought the Spanish moss would do the trick on that. So just putting it around the edges and gluing it on so that it stays nicely. So for the door handles on the door of the church, I put, I made, um, took my molds out and my air dry clay and did a couple of small designs with that to make my door handles for my door. And now I'm taking some clear antique wax and going over everything to give it a nice seal. So it just will make it easier to clean and dust off if it gets dusty and dirty um, and just gives it an all around nicer look. And it also kind of blends in those colors even more and just makes it pop. I'm wiping back the uh, clear wax and just kind of blending it all in there, taking off the excess and make sure it's uh, all over and sealed well. Now I th thought the front needed a little bit more uh, decor or outdoor decor. So I have these teeny tiny little pine cones and so I decided to go ahead and do uh, a few of those on the front just to give it, I don't know, dress it up just a little bit. So I've got those put on.
So I wanted to add something to the top uh, be, uh, the steeple there because uh, I thought it looked a little plain. Uh, I thought of making a cross to put there, but I have this large star, this rusty star, and I thought that will look really nice. So I took some, I, I glued some Spanish moss down, then made a circle of twine, went around a few times on that, and made a circle for the rusty star to sit on so it kind of sat up away from the building a little bit. And I thought that came out really cute. I really like it. So now that my statue is dry, I'm going over it with some white wax and gonna seal it in, but also it's gonna get that white down in the crevices of that and make it look a little nicer. And it almost looks like cement, kind of. So I put it all over and get it everywhere that I can get it, and then I'm wiping it back here. And now it's sealed and just looks a little bit better than all those colors that didn't match anything. So here is the finished product, guys. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the button right here. And if you'd like to check out another one of my videos, click this one right here.